Hello everyone, today you're here with me today and we're going to be taking a look at how to drive the famous Pacers which have now gone out of mainline service. It's a little tribute to them. So, welcome aboard this pa Class 140 Pacer today. We're in charge of two Golf 11, one of Sunday only services from, from York to Knaresborough. Please release your doors, set up our doors rather, set up our cab and depart at 13.04. Right, orders are oh, my command. So, doors open. So, welcome to a pacer. I'm going to turn on my light just so you can see the cab a little bit better. So, what is a pacer? A pacer is basically a bus on rails, but not a bus on rails like everyone thinks it is. Let's just pause this. It is a bus chassis heavily modified to meet rail standards, and evidently that looks nothing like a bus. Um, and put on an express freight wagon, uh, one of the ones that are two axles, and then just given an engine and transmission, basically. So this is a class 142 paces, they were class 141, 142, 143, 144, yeah. and I think not 145s. So the the, 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 the main change, no they weren't class 145s, of course they weren't, uh, so the main change is 141s were like the really horrible original looking ones, these are 142s, 143s are the ones you get a lot in the west, got a lot in the west, and Wales, and 144s are basically 143s, they're a bit different. Um, so the cab of the Pacer, the cab of the Pacer is quite a nice cab, so you've got, it's quite ergonomic, so you've got a master key, you've got a reverser, you've got your heaters, you've got a three step brake, you've got cab lights, which you've now turned on, destination lights, instrument panel lights, a driver to guide buzzer, a window heater, cab heater, wiper, lights, Compressor speed up, couple and couple buttons, engine start and stop, and windscreen wash. NRM radio and GSMR radio would be there nowadays. That's the power handle, that's the horn, that's the AWS reset, and that is the DVD pedal. Uh, on the back wall, you, this is where the guard or driver puts in their keys to close the doors. That is the saloon lights for passenger lights, and that is all the auxiliary switches. So, what we're going to do is because it's the north of England and it's nice, fresh air. Welcome to York, by the way. We're going to open our window, we're going to put in our key, neutral, reset the AWS. And I don't know if we've got a clear starting signal, so we're going to keep the RA on and instrument lights on. Uh, we're going to Knaresborough. Don't think it's going to be on our destination, but we can always have a look. While we're at it, I'm also going to do the lights. Huddersfield, Hull, Lancaster, Leeds. Nairsborough is not going to be in there, is it? We'll just leave it blank then. Swansea, York. Right, I'll just keep it on blank then. Right, I'll tell you what we'll also do. We'll go to the rear cab and set up our tails. So that's basically the tail lights set up on the unit. We're now ready for departure. I've got a couple of milk bottles on the platform. I'm just going to investigate what that is at a second. So class one five eight there, class sixty six pulling through. There's our doors closing. We'll get the, the guards buzzer. Got no guards buzzer, but first I just want to have a look what, what's there at York. There's one five eight going. Right, we're ready to go basically. So we're just going to do DR eight off. Forward, release our brakes, uh, signal, throttle, and release. And we're going to ease out of your. And also, I'm just going to quickly go into the world editor because I need to investigate what those milk balls are from. Ah, oh, yeah, DP simulation benches, that's fine. Just as long as it's that, because that's freeware stuff. Right, off we go then. Yeah, we've got a green starting signal, so off we go. So I always thought Pacers sound a bit like kind of Ferraris. Let's get a bit of brakes on, speeding a bit.
Yeah, this is a departing in York in a northern pacer. Didn't turn on the saloon's lights, they're just passenger lights, there we go. Turn them on, just in case. And while I'm at it, I'm just going to get those benches I'm missing from DB simulations. <laughs> oh, I'm so funny. No, I'm not. Um, rebuilding back. Right, that's that downloaded. Right, we can now go to 30 miles an hour. So the next station is Poppleton. So for those of you interested, I can't remember what route this is actually. I'll quickly check for. Ah, can't remember what route this is. I think yeah, it's northeast. No, it's not. Oh, it's the. Oh, it's the Harrogate loop. Yeah, Harrogate loop. Uh, it's getting really loud in here. Just close those window. That's that window, not those windows. That window. There we go. Don't like this track, but anyway. Just thrashing the heck out of this pacer. I do like the pacers. I think they're very nice multiple units. I find them like very young to be taken out of service, even though they were they were basically the same thing as an HS. Well, cab light off, please. <laughs> it's illegal to run with that on. And right, so we're now going on to the on to the Hartford Loop. Um, I think it's Hartford Loop. I'm completely mixed up on what route this is, but it doesn't really matter. So basically. Paces were uh, un uh, the same as HSTs. They were like a uh, 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 a thing that was introduced whilst better things were, you know, researched. But then they both ended up lasting the same. Except Paces have never got the love that HSTs got, and I think Paces are very sweet. Because the amount of bombs that have sat on those steep, the amount of you know, just crap that they've had to go through, and they were still there until the other day. So, I think they deserve a round of applause, to be honest. Thrash it! And I know there's lots of people that love pacers. But I'm, I'm an avid fan of them, and I never got to ride on one. And that's probably why. Um, but yeah, I never got to ride on a pacer, which is one of my biggest life regrets. Because as you all know, I'm based in Spain. And if I work hard enough, I may be based in Scotland. Boom. Right, let's just coast now. Give a step one braking. Oh. There we go. Nothing like a pacer. Interesting bridge that. Right, we've got a yellow coming up. So it's Poppleton. Acknowledge the AWS. There we go. I think we're fine to coast now. Have we? Yeah, we've got a red coming out of Poppleton. My first drive on this route as well. Get some braking going. There we go. There's the S stop. And just come to a gentle stop, really. Just let her stop. There we go. Beautiful unit, that. I just love the way they thrash as well. Weird cab design, though. I mean, just look at how big those 
quite how big these like struts are. They're vast. It's a lovely place to be though. Right. Do I have permission to proceed? No, we're probably waiting for a unit coming down the other way, which has got the signal. Which is kind of good. So we're just standing here, relaxing in a pacer. Nice. The engine's running. I want to see what the engine start sound is like. Let's see. What? There we go. Not the most exciting. Neither is the horn. Never mind. It sounds good though. Welcome to Northern Poppleton. <laughs> Poppleton thing. What the hell that is? I've got no idea. Oh! It's one of these slidey things. Okay. It's been so long since I've been to UK. I'm actually getting depressed at this point. And I want to depart Poppleton, but we can't depart Poppleton. <sighs> nice wipers. Oh, there he comes. He's coming in nice and fast. Oh, God. Do your horn, mate. You're going over a crossing. <gasps> it's kind of quite intimidating seeing a train coming straight at you. And then the last minute branching off. Because what if he doesn't branch off? <laughs> He's going straight into you. There he comes. We can go in a sec. Oh, two paces. And he's stopping in two trains in fashion at the S car. Quite. Oh, sh God, that was a hard stop. He sure opened his doors, but that was a one hard stop. And we've got our signal now. Two. And his signal is now down. We can't proceed out of here. The way we're going out. Not that he would anyway. We go. <laughs> Is that the compressor? That is the fartiest compressor I've ever heard. <laughs> I like this bit. This looks fun to ride on here like this. And I pull most. Oh, oh, what the hell is that? Ah, I've got nightmares now. <laughs> Leave me alone, silly lady. I want to go. <laughs> Now is it's one of your viewers, mums. Something changes to train times. Two thousand thirteen. Bugger me. Eh? Well, don't mind. It's cool. I love it. Best era for railways. Two thousand. Uh, evidently, private privatisation. Best era of British Rail. But nice crossing this. Be nice if the gate swung open, and then, like in real life, I presume, you know, when you're ready to go, they'd go, close them, and then you get the the buzzer. But it's a lovely place to be. All right, let's just get in the cab. I want to have a look at the manual for this thing, actually. Is there anything that I haven't covered? There goes our doors. Oh, no, it's his doors. Of course it's his doors. How was it going to be our doors? Why would it be our doors, eh? God. There's so much crap in my AP. I've got pictures of Postman Pat in my AP folder. What the hell? <laughs> Don't ask me why. Right, so this is the class <sighs> 140. There's also one done by DTG, but it's it's shamefully bad. So keyboard controls. Mm. Nothing out of the standards. Features. That's cool. So when your destination blind is not in service, all the passengers get off. 
That is very immersive, that is. That is very cool. And the fact that you can actually see that handle animate is quite good. Even though you can't... That's all doors, then. There's our buzzer. And that's us leaving for Hammerton. God, the names are funny. No offence if you live in any of these places, of course. No, no offence intended. Nice quaint branch line. Not a branch line, it's just a different a single line track. Chop chop. Be nice if there was a passenger view. It's a nice view of our little pacer trundling through the north of England. Very scenic. He's ever so a little bouncy. You can kind of see it, but it's it's not like a real pacer. We actually have to put a steep belt on almost. <laughs> I like the switches on these. Not British Rail at all. Shit. Didn't mean to do that. But when you do compress the speed up it yeah. It turns off your power and full service brake application. And it's basically to fill the main reservoir faster. Oh this is a nice this is nice. It's very. I love that sound, running sound on it. Very, very kind of smooth. I was also recording a video for a class 91, but that died. Oh, this is nice. Look at this. Not too bad textures actually for how old this thing actually is. It's eight years old, nearly nine. In train sim. Don't. We've got a clear distance, which is good to know. Bit of horn. For that crossing. Got some power cables there, I think. Yeah. There's the Let's have a nice level crossing shot, shall we? With some vans and everything. Don't have to go full power anymore, just give it a bit of power to hold speed. It's not the fastest unit in the world anyway, it's seventy five miles an hour max speed. By the way, just to clear something, um, the max speed of a train isn't the speed that you get up to when you leave it to full power for a prolonged time period. The max speed on a train is a certified speed um, that has been given based on its design properties and everything. I mean, this is dead scenic, this is. Rashkin. Another level crossing. God, this is horn galore. Richard would love this. Got three minutes to get to our destination so that we're on time. I think we can manage that fine. We're holding our speed nicely in not five. Not speeding at all, not slowing down. Perfect. Nice clear AWS for us. They know we're coming. 
That's just a repeat of that. Um, coming up to Hamilton, and then we we've got Cattle and Nairsborough. It's really satisfying to start off at York and Darlington, these cool places. I always make sure to uh, blow my horn a lot before these crossings. Because you never know, there might be a stray farm or goat or something on them. Right, I'm just going to coast now. Very beautiful landscape. I love the sound of a coasting train that isn't too heavy, like this. But inside, a kind of idle, wheeled spinning sound, I think it's very relaxing. <laughs> Plying the rails all the way to Nairsborough. Right, let's give ourselves a bit of initial service. There we go, it's slowing down nicely. Not Nairsborough, Hamilton. Coming in nicely now. Need some more brakes. There we go. Just I uh, am I stopping on the pacer? Even though it's like the fourth tram I've driven it. Not bad. There we go. Oh, I like the way the passengers changed. Now it's it's full of scary passengers. Ah, oh, that's scary. That is. I don't like that. I mean, it's cool that it it turns them on and off. But it's kind of scary to having a hundred passengers. And this thing, God, that woman is scary. Her face is like pointing straight, but uh, that is actually really psychologically breaking me. I thought it was full for London. <laughs> I love the road, it's so cool. That's nice. That, oh yeah, that is one nice asset that is. But why, why is there a mirror? What? Why is there a mirror? Is it for the train? No. That's very confusing, that. No, oh, yeah, this is, the, this is the life this is. In the weekend, I've got East Coast Mainline Merge, North, North, and Lines, everything. Right, let's get back in the cab. Let's get ready to depart. Mm, next station is Cattle, we said, and it's in one mile. Nice, I like it when it's one mile stops. I'm a commuter guy. I do like long runs as well, though. Right, buzzer. There we go. Nope, didn't get into forwards, naughty boy. There we go. The reverser is here. I just love it being there next to my leg. It's, it's not intrusive. And the master key's there as well. It's quite a nice place to have it. As I said, very beautiful scenery on this route. But the only thing I can't stand about train stem as a whole is you have London buses on every route. Every route. Be it Germany, UK, uh, UK anywhere. So you could be in you could be on the West Highland line and you'd still have London buses, which I just think is stupid, but let's do a bit of horn, shall we, for the crossing? Yeah. Uh, I had a bit of Trace and World vibes there, I pressed dead instead of B. Don't know why I haven't played Trace and World for a year. Not a year, but nearly a year. Since August, September last year. I just can't get back into it. I always say every weekend, come on, let's play a bit of Trace and Nice view there. I always say, let's play a bit of uh, Trace and World, but. <laughs> nah. Right, so we're coming up to Cattle, which is kind of cool. I like my diesel. High stopping service. I, I find it very enjoyable. 
and of course if the train is a pacer and it's been made for the train sim by AP in wagons then I can't complain can I? Oh I'm strong powerhouse what we'll do without you. Right, we're coming up to Kato. I think we should probably coast at this point. That's not really how you should drive a pace run sprinters. You should always go back to notch one, let the transmission go down, and then shut off. But we ought to go full service now. <laughs> not really. Oh, aim res pressure's gone down a bit. I just don't like overshooting after yesterday. On the East Coast. Well, I started. This is this video has been recorded the day after I did the Newcastle stream. Oh God! It's hard work stopping a pace, and you never really know when when to put the brakes on until you actually get in the platform, and it stops really nicely. There you go. Now, just as we're coming in to stop, step one, and now just go neutral, full service, and doors. There we go. And we've got the signal again. Crossing's already been closed. Cattle. That's really easy to make in Blender. I can make that like in 20 seconds. Good textures as well. That is hard. I don't know how to make that kind of stuff in Blender. Public house. Yeah, that's a recycled asset on every single one. Oh, that's nice. Cullen Skink. Can't remember what that was. What's Walls Ice Cream? That is actually really cool signs. Even though they look a little bit rough already. Wow, forward, step one. Buzzer presumably already went off. So that was outside. You've got to be inside from the moment the door starts to close to here for the buzzer to actually play in trains. Okay, so the next signal is going to be red, okay. I know that because the, the distance is the yellow. But we cleared the next block. Crappy signals, they could have used wearing lines or something. So those could be really good. And now it's Nairs for six miles, and that's the run done for today. Ah, oh, this is nice, this is. My bucket list, not bucket list, my one, my, my to get list so far for train sim R. Uh, North London Line Goblin, because I've got North London Line, but I didn't get Goblin, stupid idiot. Um, I don't think I've got Goblin. The whole thing's very confusing. Um, uh, West Coast Main, not uh, West Coast Highland South. And then I've got to get uh, the DVD Plunger from ATS, and I've got to get the PVC and door control at some point in my eye because it's just adorable um, uh, what else was I going to get oh yeah I'm going to get myself a good mic for you guys because you probably hear me crappy quality no I don't have goblin line that's kind of shit but I can find it Right, Nairsborough in five miles. Nice one, this. Where's Nairsborough? Cool. So this goes York, isn't it? Yeah. We haven't done much, actually. The York, which this, this would be East Coast Main Line. And down here, which is whatever this is, Milford. And then, what's this? Leeds. Okay, so this is Leeds, York, and over to Nairsborough. That's really confusing. I can get Lee's line phase two to work as well. It's really confusing. I've got the requirements, it just doesn't let me download it, and I've got a subscription from ATS. Because I got East Coast Main myself now. Let me have a look. Oh, 
holding at the same speed as we were earlier. Cool. We've got four miles now to Nairsborough. Um. Trying to get my leads line sorted, that's one point. Dun, dun, dun. Got three miles now. Nice one, this is definitely. I can kind of feel the, the body sway a bit from side to side, up and down, but it's not really a pacer-ish. Two miles to go now, and I think we're going to arrive just about on time. Look at it on the signals. Yeah, it's green. That is one big uphill coming up. Not there. And that off. Where is the wiper switch on these? Light. Never found it. Was it here? Oh yeah, it was this, wasn't it? There you go. Yeah. Right, so that's Nairsborough there. One mile to go. I've got a bit of a climb to do. And then we're there. Right, I'm, I know you really shouldn't do this, but I'm going to just start disposing the cap. Basically, close the window. Um... Basically prepare to shut down the loco the unit as fast as I can. So I can go home and have my tea. In train sim, of course, not in real life. I am at home. Ah, I can't take the hill too much. Ah. It's too it's too much of a hill for the poor bloody pacer. <laughs> Weak. Look, it's struggling, wretched thing. Uh, I think I'm going to just uh, go back into notch one, let the RPM go down. Shut off. There we go. And let it coast down to speed, basically. Is that 40? Probably got a fixed distance now for the platform. Yeah. Basically, in a single yellow aspect. Let's get some brakes on. For that 40 coming up. Nice arrival into Nesbro. Cool, cool, cool. I think we're going to be ever so slightly late. Or early. <laughs> late or early. Uh, stupid me. Right, tunnel. That's cool. I think we could possibly get some brakes going. Um... Yeah, it's a nice stop. Well, this is a nice station, this is. Let's get... Yeah, we're fine. Let's get step two. Whoa, bit bumpy there. We're clipping the platform. Nope, that's well not... Well done, then. Whoa. I don't like not stopping at the S car. It frustrates me. Right, lights off. Right, doors, neutral, DR8, on, tails, on, key, uh, reverse, uh, uh, off, keep, out, yeah, we're, on, we're done, that's the unit disposed, so now we just basically walk out of it, done, easy, that was a nice run, that was, 
Not that we stopped at the S car, but anyway. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed that run on this uh, lovely, lovely, lovely pacer. And uh, I hope to see you in the next video. Indeed. Thank you, driver. Scenario incomplete. Of course, scenario is incomplete. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.